And so today, I'm honored to nominate former General Lloyd Austin as the 28th Secretary of Defense. I want to thank you, General. You're a friend, but I want to thank you, General Austin, for once more stepping forward to serve your nation. This is not a, a post he sought, but I sought him. He's the definition of duty, honor, country. And at every step, he challenged the institutions that he loves to grow more inclusive and more diverse. There's a good reason for this law that I fully understand and respect. And I would not be asking for this exception if, had not, if I did not believe this moment in our history didn't call for it. It does call for it. And if I didn't have the faith I have in Lloyd Austin to ask for it, there's no doubt in my mind, not any doubt whatsoever, whether this nominee will honor, respect, and on a day-to-day -day basis breathe life into the preeminent principle of civilian leadership over military matters in our nation. You know, at a time when more than 40 percent of our act more than listen to this, more than 40 percent of our active duty forces are people of color. It's long past time that the department's leadership reflects that diversity. And if confirmed by the United States Senate, it will be my sincere honor and privilege to return to the department and to lead our great service members and civilians in accomplishing the mission of ensuring our nation's security. And so I come to this role, this new role, as a, as a civilian leader. With military experience, to be sure, but also with a deep appreciation and reverence for the prevailing wisdom of civilian control of our military. I recognize that being a member of the President's Cabinet requires a different perspective and unique responsibilities from a career in uniform. And I intend to keep this at the forefront of my mind. Now, many people have paved the way for me and countless others over the years, to include Henry O. Flipper. And I am supremely grateful to all of them for their courage, for their determination, and for the, for the example that they set throughout. And they include the Tuskegee Airmen and the Montfort Point Marines and many others.